Okay, today is January 25th, 2014. Hope everybody is enjoying the weekend. Let's take a look at the market here. Got the Dow Jones 30. See this trend line here? There's a little bit of a longer term trend line. We still see the prices, even though we have a, uh, you know, uh, a pullback uh, last week. We're still seeing the prices still hovering above this particular trend line on the near term. And if we take a closer look here on some of the uh, price action, uh, let me uh, zoom this in. And you can see that on uh, Friday, close near this uh, 618 extension with this particular Fibonacci uh, retracement that I have drawn here. And uh, right now, we're essentially uh, looking at the uh, possibility maybe it could come down and uh, test this uh, particular pivot uh, for uh, support, or it might come down to uh, this 50% retracement level, which is, uh, you know, all these, uh, you know, resistance level here, these two pivot points. And so that would be somewhere around the, uh, you know, 15,670. So there might be a little bit more downside to flush some of the uh, weaker hand out before it uh, get a little bit bounce. But who knows? You know, we could, uh, you know, uh, uh, get a get a bounce on the open on uh, on Monday. But anything is possible. So right now, essentially, in technical analysis, all we could do is, uh, you know, identify some uh, uh, potential inflection point where we could see buyer or seller stepping in, you know, and, and then watch the price action and, uh, and trade accordingly. So, and if we uh, take a look at the diamond, the ETF for the, uh, the, the Dow 30, uh, likewise, you know, we're seeing this trend line here. Uh, it's still, you know, hovering up against that. And for the uh, price level, we're essentially looking at this, uh, you know, again, the 618 at 158.60, uh, somewhere around there. And if we come down to uh, uh, the 50% uh, retracement, it could be that 156.50, uh, that level. And here's this, this uh, pivot point that we might uh, possibly see, you know, and uh, that might be the 157, uh, you know, 46, 157.50 level. So in the short term, you see this trend line here kind of got broken. And also you notice that, uh, you know, we got this little inside candle here right, on Wednesday that it could print in that. And you can see that it's uh, getting a little bit of uh, uh, cautious here, right? You know, because we're basically looking at a gapped up, you know, and then it just pulled back and then give, give us a little bit of a, uh, you know, a, a big long uh, red hammer. And then we print a, a little bit of a smaller hammer on the inside bar. And uh, once it uh, broke this uh, trend line here on Thursday, that's just a uh, little flag to say, you know, tighten up on your stop and that sort of thing. So on Friday, when we uh, got this big gap and just uh, flush, uh, that would really kind of, uh, you know, scare a lot of the people. But the uh, the early uh, uh, warning sign was there, and it's just a matter of, uh, you know, uh, did we act accordingly and did we, uh, you know, did you uh, set up your, your stop and make sure that you are here and abide by your stop and, and uh, you know, and, and take out, uh, those uh, those trade when it gets stopped out instead of uh, writing it down. And so and uh, if we uh, take a look at the uh, S&P 500, uh, let me uh, let's see. We're gonna you know take uh, zoom this out here again. You can see that this trend line here on a longer term, the price is still above this particular trend line, right? And uh, we can see that. Uh, uh, let's zoom this in. Uh, you know it uh, it came down. And right now, uh, most likely we probably uh, might might see this uh, come down to the 618 extension somewhere around this uh, 1775. Okay, if it uh, come down to the 50% uh, point, then it essentially will book this, you know, book to this trend line and get down to that 1750 uh, level here. You know, where you also you know maybe uh, find a little bit of a support there. But right now, the first level of support that we want to keep an eye on is somewhere around this. Uh, 1774, 1775 area here, and see what that, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, get the dip buyer to step in. And then if we uh, take a look at the spider, right, the spider, we're essentially, we're looking about this uh, 177.30, and that's basically the, the uh, you know, maybe an area of support down here on the 618, and then here's that 175, that would be the 50% retracement. Right, again, you look at this, I right, got a little inside day, Got these little bit of a, uh, you know, hammer. And then when you're on the top, these hammer, you know, we used to call these like a hangman, right? Okay. 
And once you see this uh, trend line book on Friday, and then we just uh, kind of get this big flush here. So we just have to kind of keep an eye on these uh, price action to see where the market will find support. And then we reassess the, uh, you know, the, the, the trade possibility when that time comes. And if we uh, take a look at the uh, NASDAQ 100, um, let me go and uh, you know, zoom out and we'll take a longer view here. So you see that on the NASDAQ 100 also got a little trend line here that I got here. You know, a little bit of a longer term, not, not as long as the uh, S&P 500 or the uh, Dow Jones. But you can see the prices is still hovering above this trend line. And also on a shorter term, I have this trend line. It's kind of holding that. I wouldn't be surprised that we see it uh, maybe tag down here at the 78.6 extension, come down to this uh, 36.23, 36.25. So let me uh, get this uh, zoom in. And, uh, you know, the Apple is reporting next week, I believe after the close on Monday. And depending on what Apple, uh, you know, earning will do, uh, we might get this thing uh, to bounce up and take out this old high here. I, you know, uh, I think uh, a lot of people might anticipating Apple uh, will uh, will drop off the earnings because that's what happened in the last few times. And again, you know, when everybody thinks that they have it all figured out, the market will always kind of uh, remind us uh, who is in charge. And the most obvious will never happen. So if everybody is thinking that Apple will uh, drop based on earnings, then the likelihood of that happening is probably uh, uh, very low. So, but anything is possible, you know. So just kind of have to keep an eye on it. But again, you know, if the uh, the uh, the Nasdaq uh, pull back a little bit more, it could come down to this 36.23. And if we really want to pull back, it probably come down to the 618 extension, which is somewhere around the 34.42. You know, right near this trend line, maybe you could find some support there. So, you know, those. Those are the, uh, you know, the possibility. And if we look at the Q, right, so you can see the Q, again, is holding up on this little shorter term trend line here at this 86.74 level. Right? So if on the 78.6 uh, extension uh, retracement, you know, that will be uh, bring it down to somewhere around the 86.20. And if we get down to the 618, that will be about 84.22, 84.20. Okay, so probably we'll, we'll, might, might see a little bit more pullback to come down and test this particular support somewhere around the 86 area. Right? And then maybe we'll get a bounce again, you know, depending on what Apple uh, does uh, after the earning report. And then look at the Russell 2000. And let me zoom this out also to get a uh, uh, longer view of uh, the Russell. So you can see that the Russell 2000 is still trending above, above this particular trend line here although we did get a little bit uh, of a pullback uh, last week, just like any, uh, you know, all the other indexes. Right, so right now, it's probably, uh, you know, we might be, uh, you know, seeing some uh, further pullback, maybe get close down to this trend line and possibly get down to the 618 extension of that 1128 level. But, uh, you know, there's a little bit of a pivot here. So we might be uh, finding, uh, wouldn't be surprised to see uh, that uh, it uh, might get a little bit of a flush come down on this trend line and bounce right back above this particular pivot point. But again, you know, anything is possible. So we just look at the uh, pay attention to the price action and uh, and then just kind of, you know, don't uh, assume anything uh, that, uh, you know, uh, just because of the past that they're going to, you know, repeat uh, exactly like the past. But yeah, history do have a tendency to repeat itself. So it's just in a different form, right? So so with that said, it does sound like a little bit of a hypocritical, but uh, it's, it's really is, you know, just that you just have to uh, learn how to watch these price action and see how these, uh, how the human behavior, human behavior, emotion come into play in the market, right? It's, it, it, it never fails. It's a pattern is the same over and over again. The trigger point might be a little bit different, or the trigger mechanism, but the that the fear and greed emotion always, you know, react the same way. Right? So, so let's take a look at the uh, the IWM. Right? The IWM is pulling back as well. You know, again, we could see this. You know, you one thirteen fifty three area might be a potential support. But um, my my guess is that uh, you know, again, I'm just guessing, just like everybody else. If they tell you that they know, <laughs> you know. Uh, more power to them. I don't think anybody know exactly what's going on. You know, we could only guess based on our 
you know, experience and or 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 and and uh, you know, based on our methodology, you know, whatever form it is, just to try to get an edge or maybe make our guess a little bit more, have a higher probability of of, of coming to you. You know, versus just taking a random guess like a lot of these people. Oh, I think it, Apple going to go to seven hundred dollar in two months. Yeah, right. Anyway, yeah. So uh, we'll probably be looking at this thing if it kind of come down. It's come down at this uh, six one eight extension at that one twelve. Okay. So and finally, uh, taking a look at the transportation here. You know, the transportation really took a dive on last Friday uh, after a strong run up. Matter of fact, on Thursday, we actually have a new all-time high from the transportation, the Dow Transportation Index here. But And then on uh, Friday, a lot of the airline got hit, you know, and uh, I guess based on the, uh, you know, a uh, little news about the, uh, you know, the cancellation, you know, flight cancellation is much higher than, uh, you know, for the uh, month of December, and that's probably going to hurt them on the short term, uh, you know, in the earning and the revenue basis. But in regardless, you know, it was kind of extended, and a lot of people just took that, you know, excuse, probably, you know, just to take some profit. And who knows, maybe somebody did get caught on the wrong side of the tray, and something blew up. Because when you see this kind of a retracement, uh, there is a story behind it, and we just don't know what it is yet. But eventually, that story will come out, because uh, typically, uh, you know, things just doesn't happen you know, without anything uh, dramatically to create these kind of spike in uh, in price, especially on the downside. So somebody probably got blown up on uh, on 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 getting caught on something. You know. So anyway, uh, but looking at the uh, transportation again, if we uh, you know uh, zoom this uh, out and get a uh, longer view here, you know, you can see that it's still hovering about this trend line here. Right? And if we come down to this uh, 618 extension. We're talking about maybe somewhere around this uh, 7140 area. Okay, so, and if I uh, zoom it back in, right, so probably look at a 618 extension somewhere around the 7140 7, uh, level, somewhere around there. But, uh, you know, right now it's getting close to this support level here, this pivot level somewhere around the 7235. So, we might see a little bit of bounce here and see could it establish some support down. You know, when it get down to this particular level, this particular level, and if we look at the uh, IYT, so if you're trading that, you can see maybe somewhere around that 129.24, 129.25. See this big gap down here. So uh, you know, uh, it's a 618, you know, 127. So definitely the uh, the market kind of gave a lot of the uh, the market participant a uh, uh, big spook last week. But uh, that's why when uh, we trade, we always have to uh, have a plan and have some established, uh, you know, stop level. So uh, when these unexpected events or when unexpected market turn happen, uh, we, uh, you know, protect ourselves and preserve our capital. So good luck to you uh, next week on your trading.